Speed for Speed Heat's high heat events are of importance specifically if you're in the end game. Today we're going to be talking about why you need these parts, what they do, how to get them, everything you need to know. Right here we have my Aventador S. So so weird saying Aventador S, but we've got it fully built except for a couple of parts. We've got to get some ultimate plus parts and they will finish off the build. Now, two parts left to do. That means two high heat events for anyone that does know how it works. Everything else in here is perfect. You're going to need level 50 to get these parts. You're going to need elite parts maxed out, the best parts you have on the car. I'm going to recommend the big tank of NOS just because it makes life easier. And other than that, you can really choose the auxiliary parts that you really wish to use. I've not really found there to be much use, but I've got damage reduction and a repair kit. Those are super, super useful. But now all we got to do is jump to night. Obviously, we're doing a night event. And you can pick this event right here. The Flying Dutchman. If you don't have this event available, you can do any of them. We're looking at trying to just get a heat level 3. It doesn't matter specifically what event you go for. You could do an event multiple times if you don't have it locked yet. But you should because... This is end game stuff. The reason we're doing this event is it's going to get you up to heat level three pretty easily. Now, currently, this is going to give us 40,000. I think it is in terms of the heat, but you can actually get away with it doing it when it reduces down to 29. I think it does. But let's get it popping in my brand new whip that I've yet to introduce you to. Welcome to my ridiculously overpowered. I would say overpowered. It's not overpowered, but ridiculously powered event at all that when you were... Uh, feel like first place is pulling away a little bit. All you got to do is well, wait. Oh, my God. And then do a bit of a boost. Oh! Now, the reason <laughs> that I told you to pick the one NOS bottle over the multiple, because realistically in racing, I would say the multiple. The big one is the best way to go when you want to get away from the cops. Look at the distance between us. Yes, that is what you're trying to achieve with the police when you are getting that pursuit game on. As of right now, though, they ain't going to be an issue. You're going to get them after you maybe once or twice in this race, which might, is, is fine. It gives you heat, but look, <laughs> I don't even need to knock away from him. It's a pretty quick race, too, but it gives you a lot of reputation. So, yes, it's the multiplier is based on how much rep you have. So you want to try and get as much rep as you can. There are a few ways of doing this. You can do any event you want in the city. It does not matter. But ultimately, get yourself to heat three very quickly. The quicker you do it, the better and the cleaner as well try and avoid jumping into a police chase there's one right there i'm gonna hope we can avoid it is the finish i think these people that actually just did the race before me so i had to wait a few seconds but here they are across the line and what i like to do is very quickly get down an alleyway just in case a police car spawns because i know full well a lot of people use this area and event so we've just unlocked the high heat level three event which is just over here now it will be randomly placed throughout the map but you can see it gives you a lot of money and rep most importantly though it gives us the part we need some bloody boo put the police after me you this is supposed to be a demonstrate how easy it is Okay, well, we're going to demonstrate that we do have the police after us still. And that is a possibility. How are we going to solve said issue? I'm going to show you. There are many, many videos out there telling you how you can easily get away from the police. And this one is going to be... Well, that's going to be included in this one. All you have to do is find yourself in this dock area over here. Or anywhere with a jump. Go to a jump. This area, however, is one of my favorites. Because all you have to do is jump across. And they should just give up. I've escaped. You're welcome there, my friend. I helped you out too. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> it's pretty early on to be doing this, but we're going to take a cheeky repair. Just to prove it's still, I promise you, you won't need those. That was because players were being stupid. Oh, yeah, another tip. Play offline because people are stupid. High heat race number one. Now, we only need two high heat parts. But for those that don't know, basically, you need to get into the top four, I believe it is, positions to get the high heat parts. It is quite difficult, to be honest with you. Once that Regera gets ahead of you, Lena, which may be Lena Navarro from the last game, but essentially, once she gets ahead of you, she is gone. She's in a Regera. That thing is ridiculously quick, so unless you have a Regera yourself, you might be kind of struggling. But get the boost popping. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> The boost is also useful for the events, as you can clearly tell. And that's uh, Pagani as well. That's always, always, always ahead. So we have had just random police spawn in. 
which is great. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. As long as you can focus on the race and come in the top four, as we said. Please get back. I'm trying to get in the top four. Uh, it's not as much of an issue, so don't worry about it. Just kind of keep focusing on the race. Come on! Give me the boost! Oh, too late! See, the little ones would have been useful there. But it's I'm not focused on the race. We came second place. We'll take it. But it should say we get a new volatile part on the screen. Go! New volatile part. This thing is just popping like crazy. You can see on the mini map, we now have a volatile part popped up on the screen, which is great news. And if you were in a police chase, well, just do some jumps. And I promise you, these police, <laughs> they are stupid. They're not that stupid. They're not 2015 stupid, but they're pretty darn stupid. Now, the problem here is we are currently heat level four. We are not heat level five, which is what we need. And uh, fortunately, again, we've been looking with the area. You could very easily just... Uh, a few times get your heat by doing this just do a cheeky back and forth no problem wow look at pa oh and they do spawn police sometimes but as we said we're in the area where we can get rid of them let me show you so i haven't even taken a jump and it's already very clear that they are doo doo heads <laughs> so we shall go back to this <laughs> it's just it's kind of funny how dumb they are i see that sneaky rosa come this way I have a surprise for you. It's called a jump. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to get heat from this as well. Oh, perfect. Heat level five. And we lost them. If you're worried at this point that you're going to lose your part, don't. Here's what I'm going to tell you that you can keep the part even if you get arrested. But genuinely, if you got a lot of money or no money, complete opposites, I know, it costs, at most, they will take 50,000 from you. No more. I think if it is over 50,000, it's just slightly over. It's uh, You know what I'm saying, but we now have to get to this event and we want to try and avoid a police chase getting there. Now, I know usually what happens on this exact layout of the heat level 3 being over there and the heat level 5 being up here, that as soon as you get up there, police spawn. Let's hope that's not the case, but if it is the case, even if it's not, I'll show you how you can get rid of them also very easily. If you're going to get police after you during these routes on these roads, usually... That would actually happen. Just go off road when you see them. Pre plan. We got lucky and there's no police. But as I promised, I will show you. If they come after you, just drive off these cliffs. Okay, drive off these cliffs and land down here. Don't go too far, but doing small drops like this around this area, you lose them. <laughs> Look at the money in the red ball. This is where it's going to get a little bit more intense because you're in heat level five. Now, realistically, once you're in the end game, heat level five is pretty straightforward. Once you learn the, the ways of the police, which I'm going to show you some tips on this video. Obviously, we already spoke about a couple of tips of taking jumps. We've got the big boy boost. I think we're going to be pretty sorted with this one. Here come the Rosses. They're, they're flying in. I don't know where. They're invisible still. But we've got the helicopter after us as well. We've got the two repair kits to use. And I'm pretty sure on this race, we'll have a route to give us a gas station for a proper repair too. And luckily, with this, they actually focus on the other AI as well. Not just you, so don't worry. The people at the back usually get the chase the most. We're going to do a cheeky boost. It'd be nice if that chopper wasn't on us, but hey, a worst case scenario on video? Now, that usually don't happen. Usually it's best case, right? And he's going the wrong way. <laughs> Sorry, mate. You missed the party. I'm already gone. And the chopper's given up. And we're escaping. Perfect. Here's what I'm going to tell you. The cops are easier on events. And the reason why there's more people on screen that has to be spawned in, especially when you're online. And so, get it done, my friends. Cross that line. Boom, baby. Now, be careful. I usually go off road just in case because I don't trust the roads when it comes to finishing an event. And we're sorted. A new volatile part, which means we have both of them. Even if we now crash and burn, we are sorted. But let's get back to the safe house. That's all we got left to do. I think it's down here, isn't it? <laughs> so we used one actual repair. One actual repair. Easy. Unless they're now all crowded around this area. Here it is. Port Murphy. And again, if you're in the situation where you do have the police after you after this event driving straight down from this event you're in the dockyard no matter where you are there will always be somewhere that you can actually make use of enter the garage and we are sorted night complete you just on fire tonight? i was doing pretty well and it gives you a decent amount of money too which is very very cool 
We've got the reputation too. But of course, it doesn't really matter because at this point, you have to be level 50 to get these parts. I guess if you're in a crew, it's useful. Anyway, we're boom. We've got the ultimate no parts. I still got one part missing. <laughs> Turn and I am critical damage, yes, but I've not used any repairs. I did do all this damage by hitting traffic cars, yes. And let's not crash into that tree just in case it is solid, but we did it again. Night ended. Yeah. Easy. After a few, tri few, few tries, I promise you, it gets easier every single time. Anyway, let's get rid of this stuff. I want to see if I've got my parts. Da -da -da -da. We need to have an ultimate plus part, please. Ultimate plus. Ultimate plus cooling. That's what we got. That's what we got. That's what we need. Perfect. Now... This card, does it even go to 400 plus? <laughs> I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, that's annoying. But as you can see, we now have every single ultimate part that is possible. And we have all the turbo options. Mate, this is packing. So do we actually have a single set? Would that actually increase it? I guess technically we could be 400 with drag tires. So I'm going to equip that item and we'll give it a go. And here she is. Now, the good news is once you've got the parts, once you can buy them or move them to any other car. But this, my friends, is now the best Aventador you've ever seen in your life with drag tires included. It just doesn't turn. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's see how this thing does. Now that we've got the best bits on, we've got the best bits so we can actually finally start upgrading the proper to the skyline and stuff. Yes, I am completely ignoring the fact that I'm now numb to the fact that cars do drive through me. Yes, I know that's a thing. I think it does lower the top speed when you put drag tires on, so that's something to note. But right now, this is the, the highest spec to Ventador you can build on the game. If you have any tips yourself, please let us know down in the comments. Obviously, I've not got every tip in my brain. Why are these cars spawning like this? Oh, it's probably because I'm uploading a video. It's a jump. Oh, no. <laughs> Apparently, it doesn't help me make jumps any better. Be sure to smash like, so if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.